Yeah, yeah. When you're not strong, and I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on strong. Lead on me when you're not strong, and I'll be your friend. It's Jack Bridge coming to you live and alive. From the city of Jab Reach. It's a blessing coming to you guys today. It's my second live Facebook video for 2019. I'm definitely blessed. It's a blessing. I appreciate every single one of you. It's 2019. It's your year to win. This year is for you and about you. I want to say thank you so much for everybody that's been a part and supporting the Jack Rich Show, Open Minded, Not Blinded. The show has been a success so far. We are on numerous platforms that you can access. Facebook, Google Play, iTunes, YouTube, SoundCloud, Spotify. If you want to see or listen to the full length episodes, you have to subscribe and go to YouTube. Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, and SoundCloud. Those are the platforms that you can get the live, full-length show on. Um, thank you so much for everybody that's been a part of it. So far, we have had two special guests on the show that we interviewed with some very healthy, positive um, information and contribution. So, uh, special thanks to those guests, Amanda and Omo. Uh, Amanda helped discuss relationship tips and strategies, and Omo helped discuss lack of communication in relationships. Um, these are very helpful. I definitely recommend you going to take a listen and even briefly viewing uh, what we put out there. Um, this Thursday, look forward to another special guest. And we'll be talking on the topic, age gaps in relationship. Now, I want you guys to understand something. The show is not based solely on relationships. What I do is I send out the topics that we have for the show for 2019. And then the special guest chooses which topic they want to speak on. So if you want to be a part of the show as, an, as a guest that would speak on a topic that means something to you, you can give us a suggestion of a topic or you can choose one of the topics that we have already so please uh, don't hesitate to reach out to us um, you can find us on instagram the jack rich show you can find us on facebook um, twitter um, snapchat whatsapp and all that um, you can also email us at the jack reach show or jack reach at gmail.com Come. Looking forward to so much great things this year. Now, there is two things that I wanted to talk to you in particular about today. So this is two topics on my Facebook Live here. I wanted to talk really quickly about the fight against cannabis stores opening and women who feel oppressed. So as I dive into it here really quickly, As many of you know, if you're in the greater Toronto area or you're in Ontario at all, or even in Canada or North America, you know that uh, the cannabis or marijuana or weed or pot has been legalized in Ontario. Now, there's a few stores that are trying to open legally. If you listen to the show, the Jaffrey show on Saturday or from since Saturday, you would hear Amanda talk a little bit about it. Now, the thing is, um, there's a lot of people with a with a stigma against cannabis and other things for sure. But I want to challenge you to challenge your mindset today, because somebody just sent me a petition to sign against opening cannabis stores in Ontario. Now my question to them was, why are we trying to sign the petition? Now they couldn't answer. 
See, majority of the time, people want to stop something based on something they learned or inherited from somebody else or a generation before or society or a social class or setting. Now, there is no problem with that. The only problem is if you're trying to encourage, motivate, or even deflect somebody else from something, you should understand why. Because the aim of my show and my position in life is to help empower people. And by doing so, we need to ask questions why. If somebody comes to you about anything at all, the first thing you want to ask them is why. Even when you take the initial or the initiative to do something with your life or anything at all, you want to ask yourself why. So we start asking why. Why are we signing the petition? Why do we want to stop the opening of cannabis stores? Now, if somebody wants to ask me that, I can definitely tell you why my views are for it or against it. See, I should have knowledge about the things that I'm trying to persevere or the things that I'm trying to limit. It shouldn't be based on what my mom said, my dad wasn't a smoker, well, you know, cannabis is a bad thing because. You should have reasons, you should have explanations, you should have data, you should have statistics. Without even going so far as to statistics, you should definitely know why you are doing something. You shouldn't just be doing it because I'm a Christian and God said smoking cannabis is wrong. Now, some people will tell you that, but they may not be able to show you that. So, I want to challenge people today. When somebody comes with some sort of information to you, even though it may sound nice, start questioning it. Start asking why. Ask yourself why. Ask them why. Why are we doing this? What is our objective? What do we, hear? What do we hope to gain? What is our aim? And what are we trying to accomplish? Now, that was my first topic and subject. Now we're going to a next one that is probably more sensitive than a lot of other topics we ever touched on in the show. I was very reluctant to talk on this, but I want you guys to know I'm going to actually do a show, um, an episode on my podcast show concerning this topic where it's going to be more lengthy because I know a lot of people um, will have their views, opinions, comments on this topic. And I don't want it to just be something where it's like I just said something or I, what I believe or what I think I know. So I want to include you guys in the conversation. I'll definitely tell you guys when um, the topic is coming up on the show. But please stay in tune and subscribe to the show so you don't miss it. Alright, so the topic is called... I want to word this very carefully here. The topic is called... Women who feel oppressed. Now, many of you may not know this, but I'm currently acquiring my credentials in social work at a highly accredited college. Now, my job and aim in life, um, I see myself as a role model, trendsetter, leader, entrepreneur, all of that wonderful stuff. But I advocate for the less fortunate. Many of you know me for years and years. You would know that in the beginning of most of my videos, I would say, Jack Rich representing for all the underdogs worldwide. So it's all about motivating, encouraging, uplifting, empowering, and helping get self-determination into individuals. So that's what it is as a social worker. That's what we do. And as an individual, my life has been about that for some time now you know and the aim of my show is to definitely do that like I said it's for you and it's about you so women who feel oppressed now I see a lot of topics on this subject there's a lot of communication Rebecca Land thank you for showing up Otis Morrison thank you for showing up everybody else that's watching and everybody else that is about to watch as this video goes viral so, I see a lot of conversations on Facebook, Instagram. I have them on a day-to-day -day basis with my colleagues, with my peers, you know, um, 
I have a lot of conversations about women who feel oppressed and why, right? Including yesterday, we had a healthy debate about it in class, and I was definitely excited to contribute to that. Now, I have done a lot of videos on this show, on, on this live here, um, encouraging women and appreciating them and congratulating them on being single moms and, and letting them know that you don't need a man to validate you. Um, I've done all of that. I want to put that out there before I go into what I want to say. But I'm a guy that calls it down the middle. I'm a guy that calls it as I see it. I keep it real 24-7, whole day, every day. Reality business coming to you straight without even going through your gate. These are some things I've said many times before. I just want to put that out there. So, if you look at it, in, in uh, 2018, we had a female that almost became the first female president in the most powerful country in the world, the United States of America. We live in a time and era where women are not as oppressed by the system anymore, but more so oppressed by themselves. Let me explain that to you. And you may want to take in this information, not specific to just women, but in life on a whole, you can actually, um, you can actually use this. But we're talking on the topic of women who feel oppressed. Now, women fought for equality, they fought for the right to vote, the right to work, the right to get the same wage as men. I understand all of that. I advocate for that. I can appreciate that. I salute you for that. There's no problem. But one of the major concerns I always see, and I guess I have, is when women use I'm a woman when it's convenient for them. Example, there was a really interesting topic today in a, in a Facebook group. I typically don't really share my comments in groups or social media typically, but I did this morning and the topic was basically a man should pursue a woman and if he's not pursuing the woman, it means he doesn't want her enough or doesn't want her. Now, I don't believe this is true. I believe that we're living in 2018. There's a lot of assertive women. If a woman is assertive enough to go get a driver's license, assertive enough to become a CEO in a company, assertive enough to go to school and get a job in a field that she chooses, assertive enough to say, I can be a single mom and I don't need a man to validate me, assertive enough to buy her own home, assertive enough to do so many things then why is she not assertive enough to go after a man or pursue a man? This is actually one of the topics I'm going to have on my show. Um, before all of this happened today, I already had this as a topic coming up on my show. Um, why do successful women not pursue men? You see, example. I'll give you guys an example, a specific example. You would have women that are aspiring even successful in many aspects of their lives. And they're fighting for feminism, they support feminism, they all for feminism, empowering women, enriching women's mentality and so on. And nothing's wrong with that, don't get me wrong. But then, those are the same women would turn around and tell you the man is supposed to you're going on a date, for example. You're the man. You're supposed to pick me up. You're the man. You should choose. Why do our language change when it's convenient or inconvenient to us? So women who feel oppressed, I'm saying today, it's most likely because it's not so much the system, it's not so much men anymore, it's more so yourself. I will tell you why I say this. 
M A D D, mad mothers against drunk drivers. Um, her kid was killed by a drunk driver. It's a woman, of course, and she could have lashed out. She could have used her anger in different ways, and but she started a foundation called Mothers Against Drunk Drivers, and this foundation has been around for years and. There's even one in Canada, it started in the USA actually, but there's even one, it's really huge in Canada too, and it's called Mothers Against Drunk Drivers Canada. What I'm trying to say is this, you are in charge of you, you are in charge of your destiny. My suggestion is this, as a woman, as a man, there is nothing like a man supposed to, if you want to be or feel empowered. I already told you guys in the beginning of the year on my show in 2019, if you want to hear something, you must first feel that thing. If you want to hear I love you, feel loved. If you want to hear you're promoted, feel promoted. These are some examples. If you want to feel empowered, feel empowered. But first, your mindset has to change, your language has to change, and in turn, your actions will change. This is not about a man, a woman, a man supposed to. I'm a woman, so there's limitations for me. No, I happen to know a lot of successful women, and if you don't mind me saying, some of them are more successful than some men that I know. There's a lot of accomplished women out here. There's a lot of role model women out here. There's a lot of beautiful women out here that are doing things that exceeds how they look. Don't limit yourself by saying, I only got it because of the way I look. The reason why I am successful is because I'm a woman and, and, and men will give me what I want because I'm sexy or they want something in return for me. We're going deep. I didn't want to keep this going too long today i have a few things to take care of i've actually went past my time but this is important so please remember to subscribe like share comment on here facebook instagram snapchat twitter soundcloud google play spotify iTunes, WhatsApp, and all that. You can find us by searching Jaff Reach or the Jaff Reach Show on YouTube also. Until the next one, it's Jaff Reach, not Jaff Cub. Please don't keep this message to yourself. Share it with someone else. Salute. Kaba.